But first, student loan payments are restarting and a lot of Americans are feeling the pinch. So if you shelled out thousands of dollars for an education, how can you financially recover? David Strazowski joins me now. He's the CEO of Sound Planning Group and is here to help college students make better financial decisions. David, what's your best advice for students who are starting the school year and find themselves in this position? Sure. Hey, great to be with you here, Kristen. Uh, you know, as always, uh, it's important to be understanding, you know, if our outgo exceeds our income, our upkeep is going to be our downfall. And that's just a clever way to say we need to understand and think about budgeting. OK, so, you know, with these 21st century problems that we have right now with inflation, the cost of everything has gone up, especially with gasoline prices. I think I just spent uh, $5.20 yesterday filling up uh, per gallon uh, here in the in the great state of Washington. That's that's wonderful. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of low paying jobs here today, but rent prices are so much higher. Right. And so what we've seen uh, here over the last couple of years is that about a third of millennials uh, and Gen Zers have actually been moving home uh, in order to save some money. So uh, that's a big number, right. uh, but uh, but something that could be a, a good option here. How should you decide if that is right for you? Okay, so I think there's like three primary things that, that could be a benefit for, for, for somebody here. Uh, one is the savings, of course. Living at home could, could you allow you to save some money or, 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 or maybe establish a financial cushion that you wouldn't have otherwise been able to do so if you had some of those higher bills. Um, I think, uh, you know, looking at debt management is another one. I mean, we just got this report here in July that uh, the United States is at uh, $1 trillion of car debt. Uh, many of those credit card uh, APRs are about 30% or higher. Uh, I think uh, the lowest ones are somewhere in the low 20s. So, I mean, a trillion dollars, 30%, this is, this is a really big deal. And I think, you know, looking at uh, the level of debt that you have is going to be one of those determining factors. Right. You know, but then that ultimately opens it up to uh, more investment opportunities here, too. So, uh, you know, saving up some money. But a yeah. uh, uh, big tip on that one is Roth IRAs. Uh, Kristen, I think young people should be putting 100% of their money into Roth IRAs wow. as a general speaking idea, hmm. just because taxes are likely to be going up here in the future. Okay, well, let's uh, go back uh, maybe for students right now, right? It was a big moving season, a sure. lot of students starting college. We talked about, you know, how you should plan if maybe staying at home, living at home is the right option for you. But parents are part of this equation too, David, we know. And so if you are a parent, What's the best way to manage this yeah. to maybe teach your kids some money lessons? <laughs> sure. Well, this is an important opportunity. So now if you have adult children that are looking at coming back, like one third of these millennials and Gen Zers are, you know, I think it's really important to have some conversations on the front end. So, you know, you want to encourage your, your, your kids, okay, what's the goal right now of this season? Are we saving money? Are we paying down credit card debt? Are we looking for a down payment for a house? You know, let's not just, you know, put in neutral here. Uh, I think it's also really important to understand, you know, boundaries uh, on, on certain things. Is there stuff that we shouldn't do, we should do? Do we leave the dishes on the side of the sink? Do you, you know, and contribute to, uh, to groceries? Uh, are you paying something on a monthly basis? Uh, there's a lot of, of, of things that I think that the parent could ask, but probably the simplest one is, is something like, how can we help you? Therefore, mm -hmm. the child can then answer that question mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and everyone can come to, to, to the right answers on mm -hmm. things. Okay, so obviously a roof over your shoulders is good, but there are costs uh, to living at mm -hmm. home too, basic things like groceries. How should college grads uh, consider factor in paying for groceries, for instance, some of these basic items at home? Well, this is very important. So, you know, a lot of people are using credit cards or debit cards. And so we have these electronic transactions. I think that that can be really valuable. Many of the banking institutions today, they want to help you to track your expenses. And so maybe they've got an app there. Maybe you want to find an app to be able to uh, to track some of these things. You know, QuickBooks is an option that accountants use. Uh, but But most people just need to know, you know, hey, what amount is coming in? Uh, I think they need to think about paying themselves first. They need to consider debt snowballs. They need to consider a lot of things here uh, as they're as they're looking at their monthly budgets, et cetera. But uh, uh, you know, there, there's a lot today to be uh, really mm -hmm. considering uh, as you're looking at uh, at budgets. But try to try to not purchase things like cars today, mm -hmm. uh, which you know we've seen you know elevate in price. And right. so some of those things may come down as our economy begins to soften a little bit. 
Uh, so if you have a little bit of patience, uh, that can go a long way uh, here in yeah. kind of the new economy that we're in. Yeah, I think that's good advice, uh, David. Now, if someone is able to live on their own, if their budget tells them that they don't have any debt, what's the best way to do that in a savvy position so that you can actually try to save money simultaneously? Well, I think the first thing is, is, is simple. You have to pay yourself first. And so saving is a choice. Um, if you don't do it intentionally, then just those dollars end up fleeing and we end up finding, you know, good opportunities, that, uh, you know, along the way here. So if we set aside dollars before we ever look at our, our what we're going to be able to spend, that gives us a, an understanding of what we're able to do. But I'll just be candid to say it this way. It's not really been modeled for us by the United States government. You know, we just kind of print and spend right now. Well, the average American's been putting it on the credit card, which is why we're over a trillion right now. And we're, we're, we're in places where, you know, we don't get to print. So we've got to work. I think people picking yeah. up second jobs or side jobs and, you know, looking at various ways to cut down expenses or maybe pick up a roommate if you can live independently. But maybe you got an extra room and that can be, uh, you know, some extra income and, you know, and help to, to, to balance things on a month to month basis. Or maybe that's the difference between, you know, being able to go out and do some of those fun things that you want to do with your friends. Mm -hmm. while also still maintaining that budget or spending plan if the word budget's a swear word for you so <laughs> uh, <laughs> i know uh, probably a scary word for some people david other tips to help yeah. college students save as this school year kicks off um, I, I think that it's important to, to shop around, you know, uh, reduce, reuse, recycle. Repurpose is actually the fourth R uh, in, in sort of that conservation idea. Repurposing I items, find things on Craigslist. People are, 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 are finding things that are maybe in good shape, but someone else wanted the brand new item. You know, I think a lot of people, if they, if they have some needs as they're moving into dorms or uh, they're, they're, they're looking at new textbooks, obviously, if you can buy things used, you can save a few bucks on that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can get it on a digital platform, uh, then that might also be uh, a lower cost. Uh, but students today are facing debt. They're facing a very difficult job uh, world right now. And so I think, yeah. you know, investing in yourself and your education is very important. This is not a time to be passive. Uh, this is a time to make sure that you know what you're doing and that you're heading into the future with a head on your shoulders and goals in mm -hmm. front of you. Uh, if you can invest in yourself right now and become indispensable to employers in the future, those are going to be the employees and the people that are going to go the furthest. Yeah. Those that are going to fall, you know, fall behind on some of the technology stuff or maybe are in industries that are not necessarily as uh, beneficial in the future, like AI might replace some jobs here. Um, I think that they're, you know, have a, a direction for, for, for college in the future, because otherwise you can do a lot of classes and those are wonderful things. Uh, but maybe, you know, looking at vocational schools are not a bad option either. All so right. there's a lot of, uh, you know, David, concepts with that to, to uh, be considered. Thank you for all the great advice, David, of course, joining. It just looks like in Seattle. David, thank you.